Okay, so this problem says uh, we have two mole of an RDL monoatomic gas. The gas that is given to us that is monoatomic. So first thing the gas is monoatomic. So this means I know CV. So CV is 3 by 2 R. So whenever I need, so I will plug this value CV is 3 by 2 R. And this is RDL. So if I need, I will apply PV is equals to NRT. So RDL means I can apply PV is equals to NRT. Now say is at pressure P1 and volume V1. So initially the system at pressure P1 and volume V1. And it's ideologically compressed. So now there is a compression. So this process is basically compression. And this is the adiabatic. And if you remember, adiabatic process is a process in which dq is equals to 0. So this is the compression process. And finally this pressure is P2. And let us say volume is V2. That is given to you. So final uh, volume is V2. Pressure is basically not given to you. This you have to calculate. And this is given. Volume is given to you. Then the gas is given a heat Q. Again, now this gas is given a heat Q. And constant volume V2. So this means volume remains constant during this process. So this, this process that is V2 is constant. So it sketch the complete process on PV diagrams. Easy. This one is easy part. So let us say if I take P on the y axis on the V on the x axis. So this is V, this is V. Now this is the initial point that is P1 comma V1. This is pressure. Now initially this is adiabatically compressed. So initial volume is here that is V1. Now volume has decreased. So this has to have somewhere here. So volume has decreased and now finally here you will have volume is V2. And let us say pressure is P2. We will calculate this one. And the temperature here I have, let us say T1. I need only PV plot. No need to write T1. So let us leave T1. Now this is further compressed at constant volume V2. So this volume that is given to you, this remains constant during this process. So I have to have something like this kind of diagram. So the volume is constant. It's given heat. So if it is given, so pressure will increase of course. So now pressure is somewhere here. You have pressure P3. And the volume will remain same and volume is V2. So this is here. This is point number 1. This is point number 2. So this is PV plot. Simple. Now part B of the question says, find the total work done by the gas, total work, total change in internal energy, and final temperature. So we have to find three things. Total work, total change in internal energy and final temperature. So we have to find what is the total work in this process, what is total change in internal energy in this process and what is the T final. So these are the three things we have to calculate. Okay, let us first work for change in work done, so delta W. So if you see this process, this process is basically adiabatic process. Adiabatic process dq is 0 and so dq is 0 so work done is simply if you remember the first law of thermodynamics that is dq is equals to du plus dw if dw is 0 if dw is 0 now sorry dq is 0 in that case dw is simply minus du and if you remember du is nothing but minus ncv dt so this is work done in the first process is simply ncv dt getting so this is let us call this the delta w1 so this process is process number one and this process is process number two so this is the work done in process number one i need t i does not have temperature here i also does not have temperature here but i can calculate that is given n is equals to two mole so that is given in the problem you see so n is equals to two mole so you have n is equals to two mole so you see here two mole two mole of ideal and monotomic gas so n is given to you so we can calculate P1 V1 is equals to uh, NRT1, NRT1, you see what is P1 V1 is given to you, P1 V1 and N is 2 R T1. So now I know what is T1, so T1 is simply P1 V1 divided by 2 R. So this is the answer for T1. Now let us say I have to calculate T2 and now this process is a adiabatic process. T V gamma minus 1 is constant. So I can calculate T2. 
So let us say T and V1 gamma minus 1 is equals to T2 and V2 to the power gamma minus 1 and T1 is I know I am knowing T1 so I can calculate T2 so what is T2 so T2 is simply and this is T1 times V1 by V2 to the power gamma minus 1. Now this is a monatomic gas so Cp by Cv is gamma so Cv is 3 by 2R and Cp is 5 by 2R so Cp is 5 by 2R so gamma is basically Cp by Cv that is 5 by 3 so gamma minus 1 is nothing but 5 by 3 minus 1 that is 1 by 3 so T2 is nothing but T1 times V1 by V2 raised to the power 1 by 3 simple are you getting or not so if I know T1 I know T2 I can calculate DW1 so what is DW1 that is I have already written minus NCV DT and N in this case is 2 more and CV is 3 by 2 R because this is a monatomic gas and this is T2 minus T1 is the temperature change and I know T2 basically so this is minus 3 because 2 2 goes out so we will have and if I take T1 common because T2 can I write always in terms of T1 so this is T2 is V1 by V2 to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 so this is the dw1 are you getting or not so the process work done in the process 1 similarly we can calculate what is the work done in the process 2 but now in this case volume is constant so volume is constant constant so this means dv is 0 so pdv is 0 so work done in the process 2 is simply 0 so dw2 is basically 0 so what is the total work so total work is delta W1 plus delta W2 so this is an easy one so simply minus 3R and if you wish you can basically take minus sign inside so into T1 into V1 by V2 to the power 1 by 3 a minus 1 so this is the work done you will have is of course this will come into the Zool now see so next part you have so you can check the answer also is 3 by 2 p1 v1 so if the answer is given in terms of p1 v1 so i can also write what is t1 t so t1 is p1 v1 by 2 r so if i plug this value so you see minus 3 r and t1 is p1 v1 by 2 r and this comes out to be v1 by v2 to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 now see what will happen so we will have 2 R so you will have minus 3 by 2 this is 2 P1 V1 and this is V1 by V2 to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 and if you see the answer uh, there is a basically minus sign absorbed this minus sign gets absorbed so 1 minus uh, I have one more problem this is 2 by 3 and I am getting 1 by 3 so you see what is the problem uh, perhaps I have done a mistake here yeah here so you see 5 by 3 minus 1 is 1 by 3 so this value is basically wrong so this has to be 2 by 3 so everywhere I have to replace 1 by 3 by 2 by 3 so where you have so this 1 by 3 so this should be replaced by 2 by 3 so also this 1 by 3 should be replaced by 2 by 3 and the finally this 1 by 3 should be replaced by 2 by 3 and finally this 1 by 3 again it should be replaced by 2 by 3 so I will have finally answer if I absorb the minus sign also 3 by P1 B1 and this is 1 minus B1 by V2 to the power 1 by 3 simple so this is the total work done in this process now second part of the question says calculate the change in total internal energy so you see if I find the final temperature I know the initial temperature uh, we can find the final temperature so what is my target so T3 I want to find what is the T3 you see the second process is basically uh, the thus a Q amount of heat that is given and the process is DW is 0 because this is a constant volume process so DQ is equals to DU plus DW and DW is 0 in this process so I can say DQ is basically Q is equals to DU and DU is nothing but NCV delta T and DW is 0 for this process so Q is equals to 
and is 2 and CV is 3 by 2 R and ET is T3 minus T2 are you getting or not so from here I can calculate T3 so it will have 2 goes out so this 2 and this 2 goes out so it will have Q by 3 R so this is Q by 3 R plus T2 this is equals to T3 so now I know T3 so what is the change in internal energy from the beginning you have at initial you have temperature T1 and finally you have temperature T3 and internal energy does not depend upon the process change in internal energy is a state function it depends upon initial and final situation so what is the change in internal energy that is n c v delta t so this means n is 2 and c v is 3 by 2 r and delta t is t3 minus t1 so we will have t3 minus t1 so this is 3 r and t3 i know from here so this is q by 3R plus T2 and T2 I know basically you see our T2 can also be written so T2 is what so we have already calculated T2 so T2 is here T1 V1 by V2 gamma minus 1 and gamma minus 1 is 2 by 3 so T2 I can write so this T2 is nothing but T1 into V1 by V2 raised to the power gamma minus 1 is 2 by 3 so this is the mistake I have done initially. So T1 V1 by V2 2 by 3. So I can write this is T1 of V1 by V2. So let us say where I have, so I have, uh, I need T3. So T3 is this plus T2 and I does not remember what is T2. Let me again see what is T2. So T2 is T1 V1 by V2 2 by 3. T2 is T1 V1 by V2. So T1 v1 by v2 to the power 2 by 3 so this is your t2 now you know t2 so this t2 i have plugged this value of t2 and this is ncv dt so t3 minus t1 so this is the delta u so i can write something like in a greater format so q 3r 3r goes so q plus 3r and if i take t1 common so i will have v1 by v2 to the power 2 by 3 minus 1 so you check the answer q plus 3 are t1 and t1 is also not given again so you can displace the q1 t1 is p1 v1 by 2 r so 3 r so p1 v1 by 2 r so we will have v1 by v2 so this is simply mathematics no physics involved here minus 1 if so i can go fast so this is q plus 3 by 2 p1 v1 and this is v1 by v2 raised to the power 2 by 3 minus 1 simple you can check the answer q plus 3 by 2 p1 p1 uh, 3 by 2 p1 v1 and v1 by v2 to the power 2 by 3 minus 1 plus q this is the final and our final temperature is this you can check the answer q by 3 r so t3 we can calculate so t3 if i know the change in internal energy we can always calculate the temperature are you getting or not so you can also apply so at this point this is a volume constant process so the second process is a volume constant process if I apply ideal gas equation so that is PV is equals to nRT so let us see if I apply ideal gas equation I know the T2 I know P2 and I have to calculate so V2 so I have to calculate pressure also so pressure at point 2 so I need to calculate pressure at point 2 I know and I have to calculate pressure at point 3 or other way around I can also say change in internal energy is same as a T3 I think I have already calculated let me see T3 I have calculated or not yeah we have already calculated T3 so this is T3 is Q plus TR plus T2 so this value same are you getting or not so T2 I know so T2 is T1 by V1 so this value so this term so Q by 3 R plus so this term is basically nothing but T3 are you getting or not so this term is T3 so we have already calculated so T3 is 3 R so Q plus so no need to do this all ideal gas business so T3 is so you can copy from here this is 3 R 3 R goes so Q plus Q plus and now you see 3R is here so 3R T1 
so we will have 3 r t1 b1 by v2 so this is b1 by v2 to the power 2 by 3 and now t1 is again I can displace t1 by p1 b1 by 2 r so q plus 3 r p1 b1 by 2 r and simply v1 by v2 to the power 2 by 3 so things are very easy no more no hi-fi so t1 is q plus 3 by 2 p1 v1 and v1 by v2 v1 by v2 to the power 2 by 3 so this is the final temperature so this is final temperature not t1 this is say t3 so this is final temperature t3 are you getting or not so you see uh, if you want you can take the v1 inside so in that case you will have 5 by 3 so let me see what is the answer for this problem you have so you have so you can basically take v2 and v1 so then in that case you will have v1 v by v2 that is 5 by 3 so you can multiply by v1 and v2 so you can get the answer in that form so you have so if you take V1 inside, are you getting or not? So if you want you can write P3 is Q plus 3 by 2 and this is P1 and if I take V1 inside so I will have V1 to the power 5 by 3 and V to the power 2 by 3 I have. So what can I do is uh, if I multiply also by V2 on the top. So if I multiply on the V2 on the top also multiply on the bottom so I will have v to the power 5 by 3 so I will have q plus 3 by 2 p1 v2 v1 by v2 to the power 5 by 3 so this is simply simplification no high five physics so this is a quite easy problem are you getting or not so simple so copy this one 